Hello. So I've taken this test so many times, and but like, I don't care. I don't care. Okay. Um, <laughs> you regularly make new friends? No. Strongly disagree. It's really hard for me to hang out with people regularly. You spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest. I feel like, yeah. Like, I feel like most of my free time is just spent, like, watching YouTube. Uh, of just, like, random stuff or, like, reading Wikipedia. Obama. Seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you want to cry, too. I don't know. It, de it depends on the person. It doesn't make me want to cry. It makes me uncomfortable, to be honest. Aww. So I'm gonna say disagree. You often make a backup plan for a backup plan. No, I, I don't think I really do that. You usually stay calm even under a lot of pressure. Um, no. I can look calm, but I, I definitely am not calm. I, I can hide things well, but I definitely don't stay calm. At social events, you rarely talk. Sorry, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Yes. Um, you prefer to completely finish one project before starting another. Um, I'm gonna say disagree because I have so many unfinished songs and, like I just get bored really easily. You're very sentimental. Yes, I am. I'm I'm very sentimental. I I like to read like my old like diaries and stuff a lot and I like to like look through old pictures a lot. It's it's like one of my favorite activities. You like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists. Yes, I love lists. I love making lists and also schedules. I just feel like I can't like remember anything unless I write it down, so I don't know how people don't make lists. Even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge. Um, no. I know I'm smart. Let's get the facts straight. Uh, I'm smart. Uh, I just, uh, I, uh, I, we make mistakes. I don't know. I feel like everyone makes mistakes. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. I <laughs> know. <laughs> you are not too interested in discussing various interpretations and analyses of creative works. Disagree. I, I, I like, I like hearing people's perspectives on things. You are more inclined to follow your head rather than your heart. I hate this question so much, so I'm just gonna fucking... I don't know. You usually prefer to just do what you feel like at any given moment instead of planning a particular daily routine. Mm, I'm gonna say no. I like to, like, know what I'm doing that day. If I just did what I prefer doing, I would get absolutely nothing done. You rarely worry about whether you make a good impression on people you meet agree i don't really like care what people think of me initially like i feel like the people that i've like really get along with i feel like we both immediately can sense that and like i don't worry about whether or not someone i like is gonna like find me cool like, really, like, you enjoy participating in group activities it depends what it is like i don't like like competitive things like i don't like sports i don't like um like when you play those like games in class, like for, like before a test. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say disagree. So I feel like in general I I, I uh, don't enjoy that. You like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation of the ending. I don't really care. Like I'm not like looking for that, but I also don't dislike it. Um, I I don't really have an opinion on that. Your happiness comes more from helping others accomplish things more than your own. Your happiness comes more from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishments. I don't like this question because I feel like a lot of things that help you automatically help others and vice versa. Like I feel like helping others helps you. I don't know. I, I don't like this question. So I'm doing this. Thanks. You are interested in so many things that you find it difficult to choose what to try next. Um, no. I don't get what that means like like foods like you're like i love foods and i love them all and i don't know which one i don't get it you're prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worse yes <laughs> you avoid leadership roles in group settings absolutely i hate taking the reins i will do what you tell me to do i don't want to tell anyone what to do you are definitely not an artistic type of person i disagree i feel like my youtube channel is somewhat uh, artistic you think the world would be a better place if people relied more on rationality and less on their feelings i fucking hate this question um uh disagree i think that's an insane take 
you prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax absolutely i hate relaxing before i like get stuff done like i literally can't relax i'm just like oh my god i have to do this like i i can't do that you enjoy watching people argue oh my god yes i fucking love it i love debates i love watching shit i love people fucking like arguing i don't know why i like it so much you tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself well, I feel stupid saying yes because I'm fucking talking to a microphone on the internet right now, but in general, yes. Uh, your mood can change very quickly. Yes, 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 yes. You lose patience with people who are not as efficient as you. No, I don't care. You often end up doing things at the last possible moment. Disagree. I hate procrastinating. I don't work well under pressure and... I just don't- that's not how I live. You have always been fascinated with- by the question of what, if anything, happens after death. No, I- I don't personally think anything happens, and I don't really think about it too much, because it's like, when you're dead, you're dead, and you're not gonna, like, care. You usually prefer to be around others rather than on your own. Disagree. Um, you become bored or lose interest when the discussion gets highly theoretical. I mean, I guess, I, I don't really- if you're talking about like abstract scientific concepts, like yeah, I don't really care. Oh. You find it easy to empathize with the person whose experiences are very different from yours. I'm gonna be honest and say no. I- I have trouble, um, like understanding how other people might feel differently from me. You usually postpone finalizing decisions for as long as possible. Yes, I don't like making decisions. You rarely second guess the choices that you have made. Um, I feel like, yeah, I don't really like to dwell to dwell on the past. I, I always think about the future and I worry a lot of the I don't care what happens already. After a long and exhausting week, a lively social event is just what you need. Absolutely not. You enjoy going to art museums. Um, yeah, I think they're cool. Uh, I feel like I would stay for not long, though. Um, <laughs> what? That was like the weirdest way to say that sentence. Those people who like just like stare at paintings for like 20 minutes i i'm not i'm not built like that but like i enjoy the atmosphere you often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings um i disagree i, I understand their feelings i just uh yeah you like to have a to-do list for each day um yes um you rarely feel insecure disagree i think like the way that i am like in my personality i feel like i come across as like very insecure of myself but like i'm actually not insecure at all about like who i am i just don't like the world yeah i'm a fucking yeah whatever i'm, I'm a friggin edgy teen i just feel like uh people think that you're insecure if you're like sad and it's like no i just hate how the world is you know, whatever um you avoid making phone calls uh disagree i like love phone calls you often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from your own no i have very strong beliefs and i it's really hard for anyone to like try to change my mind on anything in your social circle you're often the one who contacts your friends and in initiates activities no i am the bitch who i am not i have everything on do not disturb i'm really bad at like not ghosting like large groups of people it's, it's it's very easy for me to just like disappear if your plans are interrupted your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible um yes you're still bothered by mistakes that you made a long time ago no i don't think about the past really you rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life i'm gonna say uh agree a little bit because like i feel like the point of life is to not think about it your emotions control you more than you control them. Um, yeah, sometimes. You take great care not to make people look bad even when it is completely their fault. Yes. I don't ever, like, confront people. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than organized and consistent efforts. I feel like it depends. If it's, like, a work thing, I mean, it is, like, or more organized, but, like, if it's, like, a personal project, like, music, it is definitely more, like, spontaneous. So I'm gonna say middle on this one. When someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed in you. No, I don't ever think that. You would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time. Um, yes, I would love that. <laughs> oh, it's like my fucking dream. You believe that pondering abstract philosophical questions is a waste of time. 
I mean, yes, a little bit. I, I think like uh, I think a lot of philosophy is like just too convoluted for no reason, and I feel like it's not that deep most of the time. Um, you feel more drawn to places with busy, bustling atmospheres than quiet, intimate places. Uh, disagree. I love personally quiet, intimate places. You know at first glance how someone is feeling. No, I don't. No. You often feel overwhelmed. Yes, I do. You can't. You complete things methodically without skipping over any steps. Disagree. You're very intrigued by things labeled as controversial. Um, yeah, I would say so. You'd pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. I don't know because that's never happened to me. If, you know, some random dude came up to me on the street and was like, Hey, you want 20 bucks? I can either give it to you or the homeless man. I'm like, oh, well, fuck yeah, dude. Give him that fucking guy. So yeah, you struggle with deadlines. No, I'm pretty good with, like, that. Yeah, I'm pretty good with deadlines. You feel con confident that things will work out for you? No. I'm sorry, I don't. Okay. That's what I got last time. Um, it's actually- it's actually the first person I- It's actually the first personality type I got when I first- I got that in, like, high school and then, like, I got a few different ones throughout my life and I'm back to square one. So I'm this bitch. This is, this is who I am. That's it. That's the whole test. I'm not going to read through it because I've read through this five million bajillion times. So thanks for watching. Thanks.